Federal Defense Attorney Ronald Chapman joins us now to discuss. Ronald, thank you for being here. And let me jump right in. What are you most keeping an eye on from the January 6th committee in this coming week? Well, there's a lot happening. We have a report that's about to drop soon, which will likely include a referral for Donald Trump for a few different charges. Uh, one for insurrection, for um, defrauding the United States Congress, um, and then also an obstruction of Congress potential referral. Now, when it comes to a referral, this is a recommendation. It's not an actual criminal charge. So we'll have to wait and see if the Department of Justice actually elects to charge Donald Trump with those three crimes. Yeah, now I know this is like a broken record, but in this case, do you see the former president and his allies being in serious legal trouble here? Well, that's really the ultimate question. I mean, after the referral happens, we're going to have to look to see if the DOJ elects to prosecute. Um, and in order to determine if they will prosecute, they're going to want to think forward to the potential for a jury trial. Twelve members of the United States public uh, likely happening in D.C. determining whether or not Donald Trump committed a crime. One of the problems here for Merrick Garland and the special prosecutor assigned to the case is that there's always going to be a couple people, regardless of their political affiliations, that think that nothing went wrong here. Um, despite the fact that the January 6th committee has found all of this evidence, despite the fact that there's been a number of prosecutions, or I'm sorry, a number of investigations against Donald Trump, um, they're really going to have to think long and hard about whether or not they can convince a unanimous jury, all 12 members of the jury, that a federal crime has occurred here. So, Ronald, in your legal experience, what more would you like to see out of the committee's final report besides what the panel has already publicly presented? Well, I think what we're really going to look for here is hard evidence that Donald Trump made statements that were intended to incite a riot at the Capitol on that day. Um, malfeasance, not doing enough about it, that's not going to be enough. There's also the defrauding Congress charge, which is very interesting here because it seems to be the charge and the evidence related to that charge is is, is related to Donald Trump's efforts to um, disrupt an ultimate vote, uh, declaring President Biden as the next president of the United States. If that's the case, the emails that were recently produced that were subpoenaed by uh, special counsel are going to be uh, very significant when we look for evidence of the types of things Donald Trump may have done to interfere uh, with the next president of the United States taking office. Um, I think, you know, the, the January 6th committee report is going to have a lot of evidence in there. There's going to be a lot of statements in there. But the one thing I'll be honing in on when I look at it is what hard and fast evidence and communication shows a conspiracy between Donald Trump and others, including Rudy Giuliani, um, that indicated they intended to interfere uh, and intended to cause an insurrection at the Capitol that day. And I'm looking forward to reviewing this report as soon as it comes out. Federal Defense Attorney Ronald Chapman, thank you so much for your insight and for your time this weekend. Thank you.